and I've got a awesome new ultralights pin combo. Got a fish on, bloody hell. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, nice bread. Welcome back guys to another episode. Today I'm down at my local river again and I've got a awesome new ultralight spin combo. It's a Samurai Reaction two to four pound stick from Frogley's Offshore and that's matched with a 2500 Diluvia shallow spool and I'm running four pound braid on that and I've just got a crab imitated lure and we're gonna flick around the banks. I bring the bike with me so we're gonna go along the banks, um, side spot these fish, cast a crab at it and hopefully we can pick up one or two. So. It's a bloody rip of a day. Um, so yeah, we'll just go along the banks and hopefully we can pull up a few fish. Not a fish in sight. So the water temperature is dropping. Um, so these fish are actually going in deeper water, but today I'm just sight spotting fish. So it's very difficult and the water's not the cleanest. So I'm just keep on going around. If I have to go far, I'll go far um, as long as I hook up to one fish hopefully but um yeah at the moment not even one fish you guys definitely can't see but um there's actually a quite a few fish here hopefully they are interested in the in the lure and we can hook up to one all right there's actually a school of broom here are they still there Right, there's a school of broom facing my direction right now, so if I move, they're actually gonna get spooked. So I've just cast a lure on the right, and I'm doing the same sort of technique, just letting it flow down the, the current, and hopefully a fish will just uh, pick it up. So just a few twitches, leave it on the bottom, slow roll, and hopefully one will just grab it off the bottom. Yep, guys, got a fish on. Bloody hell. <laughs> I was actually just hopping it off the bottom and a brim was cruising past and picked it up off the bottom. You beauty. On the new combo. It's going good and it's a big fish. Got no net and I've only got four pound on. Whoa. Whoa, it's a nice fish. <laughs> This is awesome. Got to walk with him. Otherwise he's going to cut me on the rocks. Look how far he's going. Jesus. How far is this fish taking me? Oh, nice broom. Very nice. <laughs> I've got to take my bag off. How's that for like gear, yeah, guys? Unreal. Don't know where I'm gonna bring him. I'll bring him in this shallow water. Come this way, mate. All right, it should be all right. The rocks are slippery here though. Um, very slippery, because it's really low tide. Um, uh, what am I gonna do? If I put my foot there. Oh, it's a nice fish. Let's see if I can, oh. No mate, don't go over that rock. All right, I'm gonna see if I can uh, manage to pull it up. It's just about to snap. Yes, we got him, guys. We got him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. That is a chunk of a brim. On the new spin combo. You beauty. There we go, guys. Have a go at that full brim. I bring the brag map, but I'm pretty sure that's around the 40 centimeter mark or pretty close to it. Just on the crab lure, 
a beautiful fish on the new spin combo, you ripper. And um, I'm very, very stoked with that. Beautiful. I was just hopping the crab off the bottom and um, a, a brim was swimming by and he actually turned down and I'm like, oh, we might be in luck here. And he picked it up, my line just had a bit of a whack. I striked and uh, shook his head and he was on. So a beautiful fish and fought so good. Um, yeah, so we'll take a couple photos and send this big girl on her way. All right, we'll take the hooks out of her. Oh, it's a beautiful, both hooks are in the, in the lip, each side of the lip. Don't have my pliers. That one came out. Quickly give her a measure. Quickly guys, comment down below what you reckon this fish um, measures. And uh, yeah, while I'm getting the brag mat out, lucky I brung it. I reckon it's around easy 38, this fish. So there we go, 39 on the dot. Beautiful brim. Send her on her way. So I'll try to go back to that spot where I went. Uh, where did I go? I went here. Oops. Oh, oh shit. I really want to film this nice, so I might risk falling in the water. But um, do it for you guys. So. Alrighty, let's do it. Look at that. What a rip of a fish. Nice blue nose, that one, and a nice gold to it. If there was all sun here, you'd, this fish would be glowing, literally. Look at that, that's a chunk of a brim. Oh, awesome. There we go, guys. <laughs> Absolutely awesome way to start the session. I saw a couple fish and I didn't bother. And then I saw there was one that was just a decent sized fish, so I was like, just give it a go. And um, I just chucked in front of it and out of nowhere, Brim just swam past it. And um, yeah, his head went down. I got him and it was an awesome fight. It's a stoke guys. So we've still got a fair bit of kilometers to travel with the bike. So hopefully we can pick up a few more fish for you guys. And yeah. Are you a chance to catch something? Yeah, I just got a nice Brim. Oh, did you? On the uh, on a lure too, so it was four, forty centimetre fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Uh, yeah, good. Would you eat it? Oh no, nah. just put them back because a fish about that's around forty years old. Yeah. So yeah, yeah they're that's very the slow point. going. I've been down in Portland. Yeah. And they have a uh, tuna, uh, and they get them up to one hundred and fifty kilo. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's just so wrong. Yeah. Because those big animals really, uh, they need to be there for the breeding stocks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Thought, good on you for doing that. And a fish for it too, isn't it? Yeah. Never know what's going to come up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I was just uh, sight spotting it too. So what I did was uh, just chuck the lure in, yeah. and uh, the fish was swim past. It put its head down. Yeah. My line went strike, and <laughs> shook his head, and yeah, it was on. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I feel how light it is. Uh, nothing there. I know. Wow. That's good about and yet it. the strength of it would be as good as. Oh, it's so nice because I got four pound line on. Yeah. So just yeah. take your time with it and it's not yeah. going to go anywhere. All right, see you later. So every time I catch a fish now, because I'm using really light line, what I want to do is just go through the leader, and make sure there's no um, frays and. So just here, there's a little bit, you might get away with it, but I'm not gonna risk it. Um, Cause you're doing all this work to catch a, a solid fish. So I'm just gonna cut it, retie it, and uh, yeah, start fishing again. Alrighty, so hopefully I bring the scissors. Yep. So just gonna cut it. So what I do with lures, especially when I'm using really light line, is a uni knot. You can use a clinch knot or whatever you want to use, but well, the split ring's actually opening up, which isn't good. Not good at all. 
and I don't have pliers to press it down. Um, that's no good. All right, we're just gonna have to risk it. And then when I get back, I'll put a new split ring on. But um, you probably can't see, but it's opened up a fair bit. Hopefully the fish, well, hopefully the knot doesn't go through the split ring and uh, there goes the lure. We make a loop, cross those lines, go in it about seven times. Pull the knot, lube it so the knot doesn't stuff the line up. Pull that down. That's the knot there done. Trim the tag and ready to go. There we have it, cranker tied on. So what we'll do is we'll get on the bike now, we'll see and cover some ground and try and find some more fish it's a bit hard, the conditions, because as I was saying previously, the water temps drop down and still dropping down. So these fish are actually going into deeper water and doing whatever they're doing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on the bike, cover more ground, and hopefully I can pick up a, another fish or two. I'm even happy for that one fish, just to test the gear out, and that's a solid brim to start off with. But if we can get one or two more, that is going to be absolutely awesome. Alrighty, we'll have a go in here. There's a school of fish there, but they're only small. Yeah, there's actually a school of, there's two schools of fish, but they're not big. Hopefully there's some bigger ones behind it, because I can't see them. No follows. As soon as I turned the GoPro off, I uh, slipped off there and then slipped on there and all my shoulders and cut my hand, landed on my ass. Luckily the combo is good. <laughs> I think that's why I landed on my shoulders to be honest. All right, since I'm here, I'm just gonna have some lunch, so I just got a bread roll, can of tuna, the tin in here, Let's roll up, Get the tuna in here. All right, there's our tuna roll. Alright guys, I'm just going to have a little bit of a break. Um, my bones are stuffed just from falling. Cuts, big bruises for sure. So I'm just going to finish my lunch and then we'll head over up the river and see if we can pull up another fish. Hey guys, it's a big school of brim here just in the shallows. So I'll flick the cranker in. They're just all underneath the shade, there's like 30 brim. Normally when they're like this, they won't touch anything. So if you guys can see that, hopefully you can, but there's brim everywhere. <laughs> they just all got spooked. They're swimming to my cranker though. So I'm just gonna bounce it off the bottom. few little twitches. Hopefully one will pick it up. No, they got spooked again. Have a go this guy's infested with these bloody things. Look at that. Eating something. If you know the name of this starfish, comment down below what you think this starfish is. But yeah. Get how sick it is in here. 
ground's a bit uh, sinky, so I'm not going to go any further, but there's a drain there. And obviously high tide, this comes up into that mouth there. Fish down here, hopefully I can flick to it. Shit, went over. Try again. Alright guys, the water's coming in now. So it's an incoming and uh, it stirred the water up big time, so the water's like chocolate now, which is uh, making it even tougher. But um, I only saw probably one or two fish and they weren't even big, so it's very quiet and tough conditions. So to get that, <laughs> that fish before, it's bloody awesome. All right, guys, we're just gonna conclude the session there. Quite an adventure today, just exploring some new areas and obviously christening this awesome new combo um, yeah so we managed a nice fish just under 40 centimeters just on that crab lure there and um, yeah awesome fun on like here so that's the reaction the samurai reaction from frog from frogley's offshore for lubius 2500 shallow spool four pound line and um, I was bl bloody stoked with that just to catch that one fish so if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up Comment your thoughts down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.